also there are a lot of bullets that are being spawned let's do one thing after event begin play after after let's say a delay of 5 to 8 seconds let's set a delay of 5 to 8 seconds and let's destroy the bullet after a few time few seconds doesn't make sense to keep it in the level all the time right you can move around in the level if you shoot okay i think the smaller asteroids are moving really fast let's reduce their speed a bit let's set them to 15 also let's adjust the speed of our spaceship so our spaceship should uh, turn faster our spaceship should also thrust faster now if i play it yeah the movement is a lot faster now and now i can control the spaceship properly let's also set some health for our actor so for the health let's just use uh, small versions of our spaceship so i can attach that spaceship to the camera so this will be like a small health version that we show it let's set it to point 0.1 or let's set it to point 0.3 and if i play it you'll see that there's a smaller spaceship which i can see on the screen now let's set this spaceship on the very corner of our screen yeah now i can see my spaceship which is health 0 let's name health 1 and health 2 and health 1 and health 2 would be just beside our spaceship so we'll have a health of three units and we do not want it to simulate physics we want it to have no collision let's add another spaceship which will act as a collision for this spaceship let's increase the size slightly 1.1 let's increase the size up slightly higher or let's set it to 1.1 now we have another spaceship which is which looks like the same spaceship but is just a collision one so let's set it to overlap all and let's name the spaceship to collision spaceship and on begin overlap if the other actor is an asteroid bp if the asteroid collides with our spaceship then we reduce the health let's create a function which is reduce health so what reduce health will do is it'll create a variable which is health it will be an integer variable right now the health we have is 3 minus it will reduce the health by minus one at the same time it will also check if the health is let's select switch on int so this is a switch statement that we can use If the health value is zero, then destroy actor, which is destroy the spaceship. If the health is three, then we'll set visibility of all three of them to true. So all three will be visible. If the health is two, then we would set the visibility of this to false. If the health is one, then we would set the visibility of one also to false 
yeah so we are just disappear we are just making the health zero one to disappear whenever any asteroid hits us and now let's just hide let's select visible so here there would be visible we have to just make the collision spaceship invisible so it will only cause collisions so now if you go ahead and just hit spaceship okay nothing is happening okay so we were we will need to call this on the begin overlap of the collision spaceship now let's check see one life reduced now if i go again and collide any other another life reduce third life reduce dead so if i collide with this see my one life reduces so when i'm playing i have all three lives i can i can move around so when i'm playing if i'm moving out it's not getting reset so i understood the bug the bug was because we were getting the zeroth component or the zeroth value right so because of this when we were querying for the zeroth static mesh this was coming up let's add a for each loop here so that it will act on all the static mesh components and now this should work properly see now it's working properly